After sending in the Correct It Yourself paper updater a couple of weeks ago, I became concerned that perhaps the instructions were a little extreme. Could I really expect people to permanently damage both their copy of this year and last year's proceedings? So I went in search of alternative solutions. Not damaging this year's proceedings was a fairly simple task. The proceedings are freely available as a PDF, so I printed off that one page. There was a small complication. I live in Australia, where we use A4 instead of letter paper, but the CIYPU fits comfortably within the margins of either, and I get to have the charts in colour. To reduce the damage to last year's proceedings, however, I would have to go outside. So I did. I love Hobart. I don't know that I'd live anywhere else in the world if I could. I'm not such a big fan of the very crowded buses I took in both directions on this journey. Pandemic aside, my enthusiasm for crowds is low at best. On top of that, staff's shortages are reducing or delaying services across the board, and bus travel is free for the month, which just exacerbates the crowding. Spotlights moved since last time I was there, but the endless aisles of crafting supplies never change. Let's see here. Photo corners. Perfect. Mm, yeah, hold on. There we go. Four dollars ninety later, I'm on my way again. The ferry across the Derwent River had more people on it than I'd ever seen, but it wasn't too uncomfortable. Even on a bleak, cloudy day, Hobart's very pretty. And cold, which is why I went back inside. But I came home to a good roast and even if it did take five hours return to prepare for a job that only took a couple of minutes, it was worth it, right? It was a learning experience, like all good science, frivolous or otherwise, should be. The plan totally worked, too. Beautiful. From Nipaluna Hobart in Lutruwitta, Tasmania, I hope you're all safe and having an excellent Sigbovic.